Okay, I'm recording this again because I forgot to actually uh, press share screen when I, we did the actual class earlier today. Uh, please make sure um, to remind me next time that you can't actually see the math that I'm talking about because um, I do make mistakes. Okay, so we are talking about the work you're supposed to do Wednesday on your own. Uh, you must remember this show all of your work to earn full credit. If you show all of your work and get every answer correct, you're going to make a 100 for your daily assignment. If you don't get everything correct but show all your work, you're going to get a, a an 85, which is the equivalent to like 15 points. And then you can watch uh, and make corrections and actually resubmit it to get a 100. If you do like every problem and show work, but every single thing is wrong and, and it doesn't make sense, I'm going to give you 10 points which is going to be equivalent to like ultimately to be a 70. But if you go back and make corrections, you're going to actually um, get full credit. You'll get 100%. Now, if you just write down answers or just scribble something that makes no sense whatsoever, I'll give you five points, which will be a failing grade, but it'll be better than zero. If you never turn in your work at all, it's going to stay a zero. So this is important for us to remember. Okay, now we're going to skip the interactive parts and just talk about the answers. Number 14. The figure below represents a swimming pool. The rope is attached from point A to point C, and you can actually see where I draw that line. And that creates two triangles, and then it asks you to find the area of one of those triangles. So I'm going to write down the formula for uh, triangles, which is area is equal to one-half base times height. And then we just fill in the information that we know. We know that the base is 27, so I wrote 27. And it could be in any order because this is multiplication. And the height is right here. It's 14. One half times 14 is equal to 7. So we do 27 times 7. And we get 189 square feet is our answer. And so that's the answer choice over here. Okay. All right. So for number 15, uh, we have the triangle on the grid outlines the border of a town. Each square on the grid represents a side length of 1 and 5 tenths. This is the step that a lot of us didn't do in order to get this to correct. So these are more than one step. Find the area. So again, I write the area. Area is equal to one half base times height. And I come over here and I don't know what base and height are because I have to do a conversion. So I know that by counting the base is six, but I have to multiply it by the one and five tenths. I did that right here and I got nine. So that's why nine is in the formula. Then we have the height is 3. 3 times 1 and 5 tenths is going to be 4 and 5 tenths. Now, I'm going to multiply 1 half times 9. And 1 half of 9, if you know it, great. If you don't, divide 9 by 2, and you get 4 and 5 tenths. I did that work right here. So we can't be lazy. We have to do all the steps. We can't just give up. I don't want to is not the same as I don't know how. So please make sure you're persistent. Four, uh, 4 and 5 tenths times 4 and 5 tenths is going to be 20 and 25 hundredths, which is the answer in square miles. Okay. For the next one, we have a table. Shows the dimensions of three triangles. How much greater is the area of C than the area of A? So we don't even care about B. We want to figure out the area of C and tells us the base and height. And the area of A. So I've made my uh, two different work areas here. I wrote on the top of each one the formula air is equal to one half base times height for both of them. So I did C first. So 9 is the uh, base times the height of 6 and 5 tenths. I did one half times 9, which actually we did the previous problem. 9 divided by 2 times 6 and 5 tenths. So 4 and 5 tenths times 6 and 5 tenths. I get 29 and uh, 25 hundredths. Same thing. Base is 8 and 5 tenths. Height is 6. 1 half times 6 is 3. 8 and 5 tenths times 3. 8 and 5 tenths times 3 is 25 and uh, 5 tenths. So when I line these up and subtract it, I get 3 and 75 hundredths square centimeters. Okay? Now, number 17. Marco is going to paint 30% of the triangle. How many square inches will he paint? The first thing I have to do is figure out the area. So again, I wrote the area formula. Area is equal to one half base times height. And, but you know what? I'm looking at the base here. 
it says yards. So we're going to look in the back of our books at the reference chart. We'll find out that there are three feet in a yard and that there are 12 inches in a foot. So three times 12 is 36 plus one inch is 37. That's where I got the 37. And then 20 is the height. So one half 20 is 10. 37 times 10 is 370. Now I have to figure out what 30% of that is. 30% is equivalent to 30 over 100. The word cent means 100 per cent, 30 out of 100. So like 30 pennies out of 100 pennies for a dollar, you can also write that as 30 uh, hundredths, which is the same as like 30 cents. I multiply 370 times the 30 one hundredths. I get 11100, move the decimal twice, I have 111 square inches is my answer. Don't forget uh, to come to class later today. We're going to talk about area of trapezoids. There are notes and uh, that should, you should have taken notes when you did the video earlier. Your job right now is to complete uh, numbers 1 through 8 on page 755 to 756 about trapezoids. And don't forget, you can come to Reading Help Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9.35-ish to 10.10. Sometimes we're a little late if there's a fire drill or something has come up. So just don't hang in there because we'll be there. And 12.05-ish because that's when we're finishing up lunch and going to restrooms. So sometimes we're a little later. But try to get there when you can. Okay, so make sure we're taking care of those things. And come to class later. Appreciate your time. Thank you.